Okay, so we're going to do this problem. So basically, Ron is paying a loan with payments of one at the end of each year for n years. The annual effective interest rate on the loan is I. The amount of interest paid in year T plus the amount of principal paid in year T plus one equals X. Determine which of the funds equals X. Well, the way these multiple choice questions are set up, um, this problem is testing us on whether we know how to find, whether we know the formula for finding the incremental amount of interest paid and the incremental amount of principal paid. So the we know that the equation for the incremental amount of interest paid would be uh, one minus V, to the n minus t plus 1. And we know that the incremental for principal is just v to the n minus t plus 1, because it would make sense because we know that a payment equals interest plus principal. So if we were to add both of these, we would only get one left, which is, denote, is denoted as the standard amount of a payment, which is one. So now it says that the annual, the amount of interest paid in year T, so year T plus the amount of interest, principal were paid in year T plus one. So in year T, we input T into the interest equation. This is where the years go in. Since it's just year T, we'll just leave it as this. But the principal are paid in year T plus one. So we have to input T plus one here. So let's add one. Uh, yeah, let's add uh, T plus one here, right? Or we'll, we'll just do it over here. So V to the N minus T plus one. plus one. So it would be n minus t minus one plus one, right? Simplify this out. We cross out this. We only end up getting v to the n minus t. Okay. Now it says that uh, we have to add them because bo both of them added equals x, right? And we need to find what x equals to. So 1 minus v to the n minus t plus 1, right? Now, I think it's our time to simplify to make it like one of look like one of these answer choices. So I see that a common uh, factor is v to the n minus t. So let's leave 1 out in the outlier for a second. So, oh, so let's start. Yeah, let's leave one out in that way for a second. So I'll take out negative v to the n minus t, right? And I'm going to simplify. So we've already taken uh, this amount left. So let's do v to the 1 is all that it's left here. Uh, this is the whole thing. So it'd be minus one, right? Now we're left with this part, right? But does it look like any of the answer choices here? Well, mm, no, not really. So what we're, but we know that we could uh, convert it into something that's simpler. I see something that's familiar and it's the V minus one, because I know that D equals one minus V for sure, right? So what if I just switched these around, right, plus V, and maybe took out the negative 1. So it could actually be 1 minus V. And as I'm taking the, out the negative 1, I'm going to make this positive, right? So I'm going to do 1 plus V to the N minus T uh, times uh, 1 minus V and one minus V equals D in this case, right? So all in all, I literally just pulled out 
uh, v to the n minus t away from 1 made it seem like it was a factor. And um, we find that we rearrange this. We find out that 1 minus v is actually d. We've been using this to factor out the other side of the equation this whole time. So that's why the answer will just end up 1, 1, which was the outlier, v, which was the simple, v to the n minus t, which is the simplifier. Turn this to positive because I want to make this d. And uh, you get d as the final answer.